But locally yesterday, we dealt with Hurricane Barrel as well. It was a very weak system as it drifted through our area, but it did produce enough spin and twist in the atmosphere for a couple of tornado warnings yesterday. And this shot coming in of Crestwood, uh, I'm looking at a thunderstorm right now, actually, from Terry Kelly on our Kentucky and Indiana Cloud Watchers Facebook page. We also had a shot of an ominous-looking thunderstorm in the distance, a very supercell-looking type storm, a couple of wall clouds and scud clouds on the back edge of it, and a couple more shots as well from Michael Montgomery. This one of another typical supercell with that wrapped around look to it kind of a, a look to a UFO if you will that's what we like to denote with supercell image for a lot of people to uh, understand we also had another shot as well coming in from uh, Renee Berry sent in on our Kentucky and Indiana Cloud Watchers page. One more shot of that wall cloud. But the nice thing is we did wrap up the whole storm day with uh, dealing with the good old rainbow. This one coming in from Prospect, Kentucky, sent in by Elaine on our Kentucky and Indiana Cloud Watchers page. So, of course, if you do have Facebook, you have a couple of shots you want to uh, go ahead and add on from the storms from yesterday, you can go ahead and join our group and we'll accept it. And uh, you can share those photos with us. Dealing with some storms from yesterday and hurricane barrel well, the remnants of barrel at least and the center of barrel is actually sitting right along the Ohio and Indiana border right now. Uh, we're going to be pretty hard, darn dry later on this afternoon, but early this morning we're actually waking up to a couple of sporadic little light rain showers right now. Just a stray shower passing through. Uh, it's not going to be too big of a deal. It's kind of bringing some raindrops to your windshield as you get your morning started. So right now in downtown Louisville, a gray, very uh, winter type looking so far sky to our morning and uh, reading out the door are staying just below 70 outside of the airport and downtown and regardless the remainder of Kentucky and is staying in the lower 70s and upper 60s Frankfurt 70 flat we're dealing with some mid 60s right now from Bedford all the way towards Hodgenville so again the wind today is going to be something we'll be watching that'll be the main story today the wind mainly howling out of the west and northwest with a couple of wind gusts getting close to 25 to 30 miles an hour so all in all today the sunshine is going to be basically poking through our sky dominantly as we get you into to the afternoon and uh, we are expecting to see the clouds wrap up by about the 11 a.m. hour and it's just going to be staying windy all day today. So regardless, even when the clouds break around midday, it'll still be staying pretty darn windy with that wind again still howling around uh, 25 to 30 with those wind gusts. Keep in mind too, this month, yesterday's rainfall amounting to even more July rain. 10 days into the month, we're actually sitting at a whopping 2.47 inches above normal month to date with rainfall. So we've seen quite a bit of it and we're going to be seeing a break from the rain right now, which is good news Thursday through the weekend and even Monday periods of sunshine temperatures soaring into the middle 90s.